but I really do enjoy how simplified it is. It is the Simply Good and Beautiful Math 4. I'm just going to be talking about why I chose to try out Good and the Beautiful Math 4 and how it's working for us so far. <music> Hi friends, welcome back to Come in the Chaos Homeschool. My name is Devine and today I'm going to be doing an initial review and flip through of the Good and the Beautiful Simply Math 4. So it is their newer math that I've been trying out and the reasons why I started this math curriculum probably October or November in the year with my daughter was I finally gave up on our last curriculum that I had been trying to make work for just over a year with a few breaks in there but I finally gave up on it and you can watch the video here explaining what some of the reasons why this curriculum may or may not work for your own children but it did not work for this child in particular so I decided to try out the good and the beautiful simply math 4. Now the reason why I decided to give this curriculum a try honestly was because it is free. You can get it for free as a PDF. You can print it off yourself and you can use it. So I did not want to purchase a whole new curriculum for my daughter to not be able to do or to not enjoy. So what I did was I went online and I downloaded the PDF and we printed the first bit of the math and I had her do it for a few days. And then I asked her, is this something you think is going to work for you? And she decided that she didn't want to continue with it. So we have been using it for, we've done about 30 some lessons at this point out of approximately 120 lessons. So we've gotten about one fourth of the way through. And I will say at this point, it is working for us so much to the point where when I went to print off the next section, it was actually really challenging because it's, it needs to print off landscape. And I was having a really hard time with my printing settings. And I was just like, you know what, let's just purchase the actual book because we are going to use it. I really do feel like we can finish this curriculum this time. So let me just go and purchase it and we can have a nice, beautiful book instead of my print offs. So I'm going to quickly show you what came in the package that I bought. It was $49.99 for the package. And I'm going to show you what I got in there. And I'm going to be showing you a flip through in this video as well. So what comes in the course set? is this textbook math 4 as you can see it's pretty thick and along with this there are videos that go with each lesson so there is an actual teacher online with a video showing the math concept and what I really like about the videos are they use real life examples on how the math is applied and it has been able to hold my daughter's attention so that is definitely a plus so they teach each math concept to the child and so they have a focus that lesson. So they teach the math concept and they have a little bit of work to do with the teacher on the video. And then they do a page of that same concept, just going through that concept again. And then the last page is always a review of concepts from before. And so that is one thing that's really working for us. And I will show you what it looks like in the inside when we get to that point. Another thing that comes with the set is this mental math map mysteries. I did not start out with this when I was printing things off. I downloaded it, but, but I did not print it off and start using it. I, I think I didn't really understand the concept of it. I mean, mental math, I understand that. Uh, I didn't wanna start with mental math with my daughter. Uh, I really wanted to focus on her multiplication facts and getting those faster. And I didn't wanna mess with an extra piece for math yet. I may use this in the future when I feel like we can add a little bit more in the math department. And the last thing that it comes with is the answer key. This is a bonus to have in the printed version. My printer did not print off very well for the answer key. It was really actually hard to see the answers because of the color print that they used. So that is a bonus of getting the actual copy. The colors are nicer and brighter than my printer and I can actually see the answers so much easier. I would say even for fourth grade level, you probably do want the answer key because there is a variety of questions and it takes some time to check it using your own brain. So the answer key is definitely a plus. Now what did not come with the set that I kind of thought came with the set because I didn't read carefully are the flashcards. However, I had already printed off the flashcards and laminated them for myself. And these have actually been working really well. So they are just flashcards and they do is they separate it into different sets. 
They'll have a first set for the first quarter of the year, second set for the second quarter, third set for the third quarter, and fourth set for the fourth quarter. So they're just working on a little tiny stack flashcards and they're supposed to spend five minutes a day going through flashcards. And I have somewhat avoided flashcards just because maybe my own feelings about flashcards and how I didn't love them as a child. I didn't think it would go well with my children. However, she has been doing really great with the flashcards. She practices them for five minutes a day and then on the last day of the week, have her practice them with me so I can see how they're going. And she has really improved on her flashcards. So that is working. Uh, so I would suggest if you buy the packet, do go to the free resources and get the flashcards and print those off and maybe laminate them for yourself. Definitely worth it, has been working for my daughter. So now let's go in and I'm going to show you what's inside the books, a uh, closer view of what it looks like. So let's take a look at this book. And I will say it is very beautiful, very nice. The colors are very nice. My daughter is very excited about it. It has very beautiful colors just as their work tends to have. So they have four units in this in this workbook. So they tell you lessons one to 30. They talk about the new concepts that are being taught. They give you some parent teacher tips. They tell you the supplies that are needed. So ruler, colored pencils and crayons. And then they tell you the concepts that are reviewed and expanded upon. So things they should already know. And then the new concepts that are being taught. So this first section here, this would be, this is where the video lesson is. So the child would complete this while they're watching the video. You can use this code to access the video with your device if you have one. We just go online to the site and I'll show you where that is in a few minutes. And then the child will go through this with the teacher on the video. So this part here tells you the lesson. So if you actually wanted to teach the lesson yourself and not have your child watch the video, that is an option as well. There's always gonna be the information that is taught in the video here. So if you prefer to do that with your child, you can go ahead and do that. Or if you, for, you don't know what's in there and you're trying to answer a question, you can take a look here. It's a good reference for future situations. So we have a few sticky notes that we actually put in for the different lessons. If there's a lesson that she tends to struggle with, uh, certain concepts that she struggles with and we have to look back, we will put sticky notes with the title so that we know where to find it in case we need to reference it again. So here is one of the activities for the day. So it looks like it was mostly skip counting. So it was that's the main lesson activity. And then over here is the review. So here is review concept. So lesson, it says lesson practice, but it's really review of the facts from before. Okay, and then here is talking about the flashcards and how to go and use your flashcards that you have. So this, this page is not a normal page in the lesson. Okay, so it looks like actually this is the review here. So the first lesson's a little different, I would say, than normal. Let me flip more to the middle here and show you a lesson over here. So here we go. This is what they do with the teacher in the lesson. Here is the mini lesson explaining the concept. Here is their lesson practice. So this is all about the concept that they learned in the video. And then one page, one page for review. Okay, so I feel like it's a very doable amount of work. Uh, we do spend, I don't love to spend a ton of time on any one subject. We do spend more time on math, I would say, than most of our subjects. It is about we can usually get it done between the video and the lesson in 45 minutes unless she is really, really struggling. So I'd say between 35 and 45 minutes is a very normal amount of time for us to complete it. I don't watch the video with her, but I do kind of sit with her while she's doing the lesson practice and the review just to make sure. I am really bad at going back and checking her work in particular because I have two younger students who I'm always checking as they go and I just do better when I check as they go. So I kind of spot check as she's working on it and I'm there when she's doing it because I don't want her to get a whole bunch wrong and then end of the week when I actually go check her stuff, then things are wrong. So I just kind of sit with her while she's doing this. And so that is basically the layout of a lesson. And as you can see, just very beautiful colors. Every day is different. That being said, even though every day is different, I feel like the review activities are very similar, similar enough to not be too repetitive, but also reinforcing those concepts. So I really feel like the way they set up their review has been really, really great and has really worked for my daughter. So that is the math, simply good and the beautiful math four. So I said that it comes with this mental math map mysteries, which I have not been using yet. In looking this over, 
<laughs> looking over it quickly for the review. I think I might actually start using it at some point. Maybe we'll start it in the summer or something. So the concept behind this is you do it with your student. One side is the students and one side is the parents. So you would flip it over and you can hold it up so that the student can see one side and you're looking at the other side. And they're supposed to mentally tell you the answers to these questions. So you're adding 10 to 23. So 33, 55, 47, 92, and then skip count from 30 to 60. 25 is from 400 to 500. All right, so I know my child, this mental math is a bit of a struggle, would be a challenge right now. So maybe it's something I would want to use later. I can definitely see this being uh, an activity that would be beneficial for sure. And so on the back, you have all the answers so you can look at the answers while they're doing it. It says the idea is for the child to do it mentally, but if they have to get out a piece of paper and a pen, that's fine. The goal is just to get it quicker and hopefully eventually be able to do this in their heads. So that is the mental math and math mysteries. We actually do that for a while and then I noticed, so there's 118 lessons and at the end there's a book to read. I'm not exactly sure how this book plays a part, but it looks like a choose your own adventure actually. That's kind of cool. A choose your own adventure book at the end here. So like a reward. And these are stickers that you get to place. Oh. So there you go. So as you're doing your once you've completed the five lessons, you get to place a piece on your map and it says 3D. So it's like you're doing a puzzle with these stickers on the back. So that's kind of cool. And I bet that has to do with story that they get to read. And all right, so the last piece that comes with the set when you purchase it is the math for answer key. And I'm just gonna quickly show you basically two page, two pages on one page. Like I said, it is so much nicer, this printed version, than the PDF I was getting. It was very hard for me to read the answers. And it might be hard for you because the video, but it is, it's okay. I can read those, read the answers in this book. I could not really off of my printed version. So that is something to keep in mind. All right, so I'm going to show you now. I'm going to go online. I'm just going to show you where to find the free stuff if you're interested in that. Also, where to get the flashcards, because I've had to explain that to some people in Facebook groups several times. So, show you their website and show you a few key areas to look. Okay, so here I am at goodandbeautiful.com. And I'm just going to go to the math here and view levels. I'm just going to pick math four. All right, so this is the set that I bought here for $49.97 plus shipping. And it tells you what it comes with. And here is a link to the video. So, I'm just going to open that up. Okay, so here we go. Lessons one to three, lessons 37 to 60, 61 to 90, 90 to 120. And then it talks about how to download them. So I guess you can download them as well. So I just, we just go online to do it, but you can do that. Back to this page here. And so here are, so first, second, third, fourth, and fifth grade are all free downloads. So here you go, you can just click on this free download and you can go here put in your email join the list and begin download so it's as simple as that to get the free download and then down here we have some sample pages if you want to take a look at some of the sample pages there's the videos as well another link for the videos and here's your math placement test to determine which level to place your child at and i'm going to click on here f AQs, helps and extras. So there's a video here, you can see another flip through. And then here we go, we have the multiplication flashcard. So here's the answer key, if you're downloading, here's the multiplication flashcards. And so there's the PDF, print them back in front, and you will have all these flashcards. So that's where I found the flashcards, and then I guess there's practice sheets, I have not looked at these, but there you go for each of the flashcards. There's a printed copy so you let your child can practice their flashcards and even certificate of completion if you would like. That's their website and that's where to find those free PDFs and downloads and flashcards and things like that. So thanks for watching today. I hope that was helpful. Don't forget to like if you like to see videos like this and want to see my future content. Subscribe and hit the bell notification if you want to be notified of any more videos that come up. On this channel, I do a lot of curriculum flip throughs and reviews. 
I talk about how we use the curriculum in our own homeschool with my kids ages 9 to 13. So if you have kids similar to those ages, you might want to check it out. And I'm also doing a how to begin homeschooling or how to start homeschooling and things you need to know when you're jumping into homeschooling. I'm doing a series of that. I'll link the playlist here above if you're interested in seeing that. Thanks for coming today. I hope to see you again. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you.